Okay, I've got another question from a member, and it is an email sent to me this week in regards to, uh, kind of just give you the recap because I don't want to give the name out. So anyways, uh, dear RJ, uh, I am a 42-year-old male, and I have gone through my first divorce. I have two children, and my divorce has been final for over six months now. The reason why I'm sending you this email is because I have been continually dating my ex-wife. Do you think there's anything wrong with this? The reason why I'm asking you this question is because uh, it seems that we are getting along better living in separate quarters than we are when we were married. And I'm having a problem with this because it's making the kids confused. So I need to know what is your opinion for newly divorced couples that continue to date each other. And he signed off. I won't give his name or his state, but uh, interesting question. So the single dad answer would be, what are you doing? <laughs> you can't be a little pregnant. Sorry to say that. You can't be a little pregnant. You can either be pregnant or you're not pregnant. You are divorced. It sounds like you're confused. It sounds like you need to make a decision. I'm sure there are a lot of couples out there that go through this. I can tell you from my own experience, it's definitely real. And thank you for sharing this information with us because I think it's a very valid topic. There are probably hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of divorced couples that have that, um, that feeling of regret and they try to reconcile. But just remember that when you're in that moment of divorce, in many cases people go through this when they're going through the heat of divorce, that angers, feeling them, resentment, some kind of event, which again, either side, it doesn't matter because I truly believe divorce is caused between the accumulation of events. It can't be just one person and it can't just be one event because there is always a cause and effect, a yin and a yang, 50-50. That was one of the realizations that I learned that um, I had to take ownership of my own personal failure of my uh, of my marriage and taking ownership of a failed marriage is a very important factor of healing and getting through your divorce. So it sounds like this member here has got a, um, a challenge. And I all I can tell you is you have a choice to make. And if it's confusing the kids, that's the most, the most important thing you have to look at. I would strongly recommend keep the kids out of this until you've really made this final decision. But it, it sounds like you've already made a decision. You are divorced, but you're dating your ex. I'm sure people do this. I think um, I think you really need to decide if this is the direction you want to go because it sounds to me that you're legally divorced but dating your ex for a reason. So that reason needs to be defined. Maybe you need to go back into some counseling. Maybe she needs to go with you in the counseling. Maybe you guys need to find out if this is really a reconciliation or is it just a dating relationship. But ultimately, just remember this. I think it's very important to point out, you mentioned in your email to me, your kids know. And that's making them confused. And I think that when you get kids in the middle of any type of volatile situation, it's dangerous. It's dangerous in a way because it's teaching them something. And I want to make sure that everybody out there knows that, you know, when you're going through these very tough times of divorce and separation, and moving forward in your life. Kids are very smart and they see and feel and touch everything that goes on with you. So make sure that if you're making a final decision in one direction, which it seems like you need to make some kind of decision soon, um, my recommendation is make sure you keep the kids away from this situation until you've really discovered if you want to make things work out, great, more power to you. Get some counseling, uh, get back together and make it work. And if you're just deciding to date and keep that distance halfway in, halfway out, I mean, that's your choice too. But just remember, I think most importantly for all newly divorced uh, families out there, you know, the kids are the most important thing. And we've got to be very careful of how we are presenting our relationships as well because the kids see everything. And it, it's very important. They're just, they're fragile and we don't want to confuse them, more or less teach them the wrong message of what parenting fatherhood is and motherhood is all about. So I hope I answered your question. I hope I got to that answer eventually. But uh, your options are this. You continue dating her, great. If you want to get back together, 
go see a counselor. And just make sure if you're dating together, don't get the kids involved, and good luck to you.